News 46 is brought to you in part by the Pahrump Nugget Hotel and Casino, located at the intersection of Route 372 and Highway 160 in the heart of Pahrump. You can call the Pahrump Nugget at 775-751-6500 or you can visit their website at www.pahrumpnugget.com. News 46 is also brought to you by Affiliated Chiropractic and Physical Therapies, specializing in comprehensive accident rehabilitation. Our goal is to create the individual treatment plan that will restore your health and end pain. Come in for your free consultation. Call 775-727-8900. Pahrump's number one media source for local news, weather, and sports. Good evening, it's Friday, March 11th, 2011. I'm Rick Vale. And I'm Kelsey Roberts for News 46. Topping our news this evening, a drive-by shooting leads to the arrest of two people. Deputies recovered a firearm belonging to previously convicted felon Kevin Moss at the scene. Deputies arrested both Kevin Moss, aged 31, and his wife Sarah Moss, aged 24, at their home where police found a marijuana grow farm. Among the charges for Kevin Moss include attempted murder, discharging a firearm from a motor vehicle, assault with a deadly weapon on a peace officer, attempted murder on a peace officer, and more. Sarah Moss is charged with possession of marijuana and intent to sell in several other charges. Well, emergency crews responded to Southwest Highway 160 this afternoon for a two-vehicle accident. Deanna O'Donnell has the story. I'm southbound on Highway 160 near Rainbow, where a two-vehicle accident occurred this afternoon just after noon. We're going to speak to Fire Chief Scott Lewis. My understanding is that the motorcycle collided with the SUV that's parked on the shoulder of the roadway here. Uh, the motorcyclist appears to be in pretty good shape. Uh, there's some minor scrapes and such, but he's going to be transported to Desview as a precautionary measure. But all things considered, consi considering the traffic we have today and uh, the conditions, it could have been much different. And Highway Patrol is investigating the cause of this accident. Yes, uh, the Sheriff's Office is here assisting with traffic control, but the, the uh, NHP officer is in fact in charge of the scene. Nobody was injured in the other vehicle? Not to my knowledge, no. There's been no other reports of injuries. And once again, Nevada Highway Patrol, Nye County Sheriff's Deputies, Nye County Sheriff's Auxiliary, and Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue arrived on scene to tend to the one patient here who was transported locally. Nevada Highway Patrol is investigating the cause of this accident. Both lanes were shut down temporarily in both directions by the Nye County Sheriff's Auxiliary. This is Deanna O'Donnell on 160 and Rainbow for News 46. Al Balakwe spoke to News 46 about an important upcoming business workshop that is free to the public. Well, what we have is the uh, the town of Pahrump in cooperation with the USDA on an RBEG grant, which is a rural uh, business enterprise grant, is doing a, a series of workshops called uh, Business uh, Licensing and the Entitlement Process here in the town. And we'll be covering several things that are important for businesses that are either currently in business or are looking to, uh, individuals looking to open the business. And there are a couple of components I'll touch on with you there. The uh, What we'll be doing is the licensing process, what they need to do to go through that licensing process with the town, the state, and the federal government if they were looking to uh, expand their business or build a new building what they would have to do to meet the county requirements and what they're involved and then we're going to talk on some of the really important stuff that gets overlooked and that is the the form of ownership incorporation or not incorporate uh, meaning do you have a uh, sole proprietor or a partnership or do you have an LLC or a C Corp or an S Corp and we'll touch on that with them then we'll go into uh, another topic which called uh, the bear the business expansion attraction and retention program and why that's important and how that's applicable to the businesses here in our valley and then we uh, wrap up with two more things is then the uh, business plan uh, when's the last time you visited your business plan or do you have a business plan and are you starting a business and it's time with the economic uh, uh, challenges that we've gone in gone through is to re assess those business plans and adjust them and we have several handouts and folders that'll do that and then the most important thing is what we conclude with is how do you do your own balance and your profit and loss and how to do it on a monthly basis uh, we've uh, formulated the workshop so it's given to them like paint by colors you know numbers you remember those days you had those paint shops well we'll show them how to do their financials and a paint by numbers or financials by numbers so they could better understand and judge the wellness of their business as they go forward and this is all going to be done by the USDA along with the economic development uh, 
right, right here in Pahrump. Who's going to be putting on the seminar? I'll be I'll be the instructor for the seminar, and I'll be doing that uh, on the 15th of March and the 28th of April. We'll be doing two separate days. We'll be doing two classes a day at 10 to noon at the Town Annex, and then from 6 to 8 p.m. in the evening at the Town Annex on the 15th of March and the 28th of March. I'll be handling that class. We'll have a couple of breaks. We'll have plenty of handouts. We'll be providing them with a PowerPoint presentation and all the information so that they could actually take something home and then we conclude with a, a question and answer session. They could contact the town office and that's at 775 area code 727-5107. My extension is 302 or my business technician Missy Arms is 312. And I would ask that people call in RSVP, it's not necessary, but I want to make sure I have enough packets and handouts for everybody that shows up. All right, and as we head into our first break on this Friday evening, here's a message from our good friends at the Pahrump Nugget. Hey guys, Jeff Rafton here from the Pahrump Nugget, just trying to fill you in on all the great things we have going on this weekend. Let you know that it's our 10th anniversary month here at the Pahrump Nugget, celebrating every day with some hot seat drawings. On the 26th, we'll be giving away $500 in cash every 30 minutes from 4.15 to 9.15 p.m. with a grand prize drawing of $5,000. And if you come by, you'll see the beautiful Kia Optima that we're giving away on the 31st. With me is Gary Miller, who's going to have an event here this Saturday with some power lifting. Gary, why don't you give us a little heads up on what's going on? Thank you, Jeff. Uh, first of all, I'd like to invite everybody to come down to the Nugget Saturday morning, starting at 9 o'clock. We have the Nevada State Powerlifting Championships. Um, I'm the Nevada State Chairman for the World Association of Benchers and Deadlifters, and the Nugget has given us the opportunity to do this here. This is our third year. Uh, the, all the public's invited. Come down and watch a very exciting powerlifting. We have bench pressers and deadlifters. We have a young man coming out of Henderson, Nevada, that's going to be trying to pull 850 pounds off the floor. It's going to be a tremendous event. How, how many Invite everybody. Records, how many world records were broken last year here? Uh, five world records uh, last year. Uh, I, I personally hold eight world records. And, but we have a gentleman that you will also see Saturday who's 86 years old and intends to break two world records tomorrow. And believe me, folks, he will do it. We have several people here from several different states that come just to break world records. I have a 16-year-old young lady from Winnemucca, Nevada, who's coming out to try to break a world record in the deadlift. And believe me, she pulls over 400 pounds off the floor, 16 years old. All right, so make sure you guys come on out to the Nugget. Come see the powerlifting. Come see the great things we got going on. Bingo, bowling, two-for-one buffet. We look forward to seeing you when you get here. News 46 is brought to you in part by the Pahrump Nugget Hotel and Casino, located at the intersection of Route 372 and Highway 160 in the heart of Pahrump. You can call the Pahrump Nugget at 775-751-6500, or you can visit their website at www.pahrumpnugget.com. News 46 is also sponsored by Affiliated Chiropractic and Physical Therapy, specializing in comprehensive accident rehabilitation. Our goal is to create the individual treatment plan that will restore your health and end pain. Come in for your free consultation. Call 775-727-8900. Welcome back. This year's Relay for Life promises to be filled with fun and it'll help the American Cancer Society's battle to eliminate this terrible disease. Whitney Smith met with Marion Maxfield to talk about the event. I'm speaking with Marion Maxfield about Relay for Life. What is Relay for Life? Relay for Life is an all-night cancer walk coming up on May 21st at Petrack Park. The reason it's an all-night event is because cancer never sleeps and so we walk all night to raise money for the American Cancer Society. And we have an upcoming meeting on Monday the 14th. And if you are at all interested in joining the, one of the committee members, I'm the publicity chair. We have several spots available. And if you would like to join a walking team, please come to the meeting. It's March 14th at 6 o'clock up at the Elks Club on Basin. And our event chair is Lori Wall. If you would like any more information about Relay for Life, you can call Lori at 209 0385. If you want to join a walking team, call Janet Hansen at 910-1042. And we have an upcoming fundraiser on Saturday, March 12th, out at the Tumbleweed on Leslie and Belle Vista. And the Pitching Hope walking team is having a karaoke contest. That is their fundraiser. So it's Saturday the 12th out at 
the tumbleweed and what you do is come at six o'clock and register and start singing at nine at seven I'm sorry and the finals are going to be at the relay and we're going to have two more preliminaries before that and uh, if you want more information about the karaoke contest it's called Kathy Leach at 751-5323 all right um, for the relay for life is just walking all night um, non-stop well, you don't have to walk nonstop, but uh, for each team, we would like one person on the track at all times. Starts at noon on May 21st, that's a Saturday, and goes till 6 o'clock the next morning. We have fun-filled events all night long. Our entertainment chair is our own, Deanna O'Donnell, so you can imagine what kind of entertainment we're going to have. It's going to be fantastic. And just fun events all night long, and it just goes all night. We just stay up all night and do this, and we walk and walk, and it's around a walking trail, and it's outlined with luminarias. You can buy your luminaria bag there for $10. And it's just a wonderful, meaningful event. And we, all the funds go to the American Cancer Society. What a wonderful society it is. And do you have any additional contact information? Just our event chair is Lori Wall. And any, any information you need, anything you need to know about, you can give Lori a call at 209-0385. Thank you so much, Marianne. Thank you, Whitney. This past weekend, NASCAR invaded Las Vegas. News 46's Vernon Van Winkle talks with NASCAR driver John Force. John, here you are. You're out here in Las Vegas, and uh, you're doing an appearance at NASCAR. What brought that on? Well, we're trying to spread the word. Uh, Robert Height, my, my youngest daughter, Courtney, and Funny Car. Well, we're just out here. We love racing, first of all, but it's a way to, you know, to cross over to, to NASCAR and let them know a little bit of what we do and how much we love NASCAR. And maybe they'll take a look at drag racing, and we'll be hitting IndyCar. Uh, hopefully later in the year. A lot of different places we're going to go with NASCAR with Bruton Smith and, and their tracks uh, with the road shell. And it'll carry all my race cars from the past and it's a way that people can not only see Castro, the Auto Club, or my Ford cars, but at the end of the day they can see all the cars in my 33 year history. So we'll see what happens. Have you ever been in one of these NASCARs before? Oh yeah, I was up at the Buddy Baker School. I took the ride with, with, with uh, with Buddy in his pickup truck, that'll terrify anybody. But uh, yep, I've been a little bit everywhere, but drag racing is what I do, and we just brought it up here to be at the fans, and I want to see some racing today. Earnhardt, you know, he's getting closer, and of course Edwards and that young, uh, you know, uh, the Woods Brothers, uh, you know, winning Daytona with that kid. So uh, it's just a great time for racing, and it's a great time. The fans need to be entertained in this tough economy, and they're doing it up here at NASCAR, and we'll do it in a few weeks. At, an, at uh, Gainesville. How's the drag strip uh, changing these days? How's the funny cars going? Anything new, anything different? What's what's the latest invention? Oh, the technology has, has changed a ton. And, you know, the cars are faster. We run way over 300 and and, and uh, four seconds. But, uh, it, you know, we're starting to realize it's not just racing. It's entertaining. It's entertainment. That's what we're doing. So we just keep doing it because I love it. What's next? Just keep doing it. You know, we got our own TV show. My daughter Ashley took the year off. And we want to go back to A&E. We got our own production company. And uh, we want to get some live TV stuff and, and a live stage show. We want to do what NASCAR's doing in drag racing. And I'm working with NHRA and uh, with a lot of good people. We'll get her done. Thank you. Thanks for your time today. Okay. You bet. Nice seeing you, too. We'll have more local news after the break. Please keep it here. News 46 is brought to you in part by the Pahrump Nugget Hotel and Casino, located at the intersection of Route 372 and Highway 160 in the heart of Pahrump. You can call the Pahrump Nugget at 775-751-6500, or you can visit their website at www.pahrumpnugget.com. News 46 is also sponsored by Affiliated Chiropractic and Physical Therapy, specializing in comprehensive accident rehabilitation. Our goal is to create the individual treatment plan that will restore your health and end pain. Come in for your free consultation. Call 775-727-8900. Well, spring is finally upon us, and if you love to plant, Star Nursery is having a sale tomorrow along with a lot of freebies. News 46 has more. 
Well, spring is in the air. We are here at Star Nursery. We're going to tell you all about a special sale that is tomorrow only. But first, we're going to speak to Paul No about the new manager, Brittany Morga, and her specials. That will be tomorrow from 8 to 4, but there's going to be some giveaways. We're going to tell you all about that. Yes, um, Brittany Morga is a new uh, manager here at our facility in Pahrump, mm -hmm. and uh, we'd like to invite everybody out. Uh, kind of a spring kickoff. Uh, for Brittany's Bash tomorrow, Saturday, we'll, we're going to be giving away uh, free hot dogs, free sodas. Uh, there'll be some raffles, giveaways, uh, real party atmosphere, uh, free balloons for the kids. Uh, it'll be very festive. We've got some uh, very nice specials going on for just the one day Saturday, along with our regular advertised uh, sale items. We like to invite all of the uh, residents of Pahrump to come join us uh, out here at 911 Buell Road for uh, our uh, spring bash for 2011. It's really hopping here at Star Nursery, isn't it? Yes, it is. People, as you can see, uh, have got spring fever already. The weather's very, very uh, nice today, and I'm sure it's going to be for the next few days. So, uh, yeah, everybody's kind of got the itch to get out in the yard and do some work. So come on out. We've got lots of new material and uh, more arriving every day. And tell us some of the specials that we're going to be having. Um, I know that we have petunias on sale. Yes, for tomorrow only, the one day, uh, we will be uh, featuring uh, a few items. It'll be a very special price, four-inch petunias for 68 cents. Uh, regular 98 cents, that's uh, probably the lowest price you'll see those. Uh, we also have uh, five gallon El Alderica pines for 588, 15 gallon pines for 1988, just for the one day special. Also, there's a couple of uh, very good shrubs, Texas privets and uh, uh, the uh, green gem uh, boxwood, which uh, will be at 488 for the one day Saturday. And once again, Star Nursery is off of Highway 372 and Buell. The free hot dog and giveaways are from 11 to 3 p.m. Star Nursery is, of course, open from 8 to 4. We'll see you down here. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. And now here's Kay with your Jackson Hewitt tax tip. Tax tip of the week is brought to you by Jackson Hewitt Tax Services. Jackson Hewitt tax tip. Are you retired and do you receive Social Security? If you live on just Social Security, it is probably not taxable and you don't have to file a tax return. But if you have retirement pay or even if you've run a, won a big gambling pot, that Social Security may become taxable. So take it to your tax preparer and at least have her look at it. You don't want one of those letters from the IRS. Hope this helps. This is Kay with this week's Jackson Hewitt Tax Tip. Tax Tip of the Week is brought to you by Jackson Hewitt Tax Services. And now we have Terry from West Star Ranch Animal Rescue with our Save a Pet segment. Save a Pet is generously brought to you by Auto World at 727-8000 and Greenspan Brokerage at 751-6200. Put the green team to work for you. Hi, welcome to West Star Ranch. We're here with six month old lab pit mix puppy who's looking for a forever home. He's a little boy. He was one of four litter mates dumped in the road and he really needs a home. He's a little shy, so he's going to need someone that is willing to work with him and train him. Uh, if you're interested, come on by. Seven days a week we're open from 10 to 3 p.m. Monday through Saturday and 10, 9 to 2 p.m. on Sunday. Or you can call us at 727-YARD. That's 727-9273. Save a Pet is generously brought to you by Auto World at 727-8000 and Greenspan Brokerage at 751-6200. Put the green team to work for you. All right, now we have a very special happy birthday wish going out to our very own Lulu Francis. And we wish you many, many more, my dear. And folks, now we've got 
winds, we had winds. The winds have kind of died down, at least for today and yesterday. Was it pretty windy when you came back over the hill today? Yeah, well, actually, I was visiting Vegas, yeah. and it was beautiful, sunny, no winds. No winds. Well, that's, that's good. what I found, so. Don't go visiting anytime soon. I know. We've got <laughs> lots of heavy wind coming up for you in the next seven days. Don't go anywhere. we got your weather and seven-day forecast coming up right after this break. News 46 weather is brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to News 46. I'm Rick Vale with your weather today. We had a high 76 degrees, bright and sunny out clear as a bell. Winds out of the south up to 16 miles per hour. Now, our pressure dropped just a little bit for us, 29.99 on the barometer. Sunrise was at 6.01 a.m. and our record high was 82 degrees back in 1972. Looking at tonight, it's going to be clear out there yet again, a low of 48 degrees, so very nice, cool night for everyone. Winds out of the southwest at 11 miles per hour. Sunset's going to be at 5.48 p.m. and our record low will be 18 degrees back in 1962. Moving on to our seven day forecast. Tomorrow's looking fantastic. If you don't get out inside, outside, you're going to regret it. Take a look at that 75 degrees for our high with 47 degrees for our overnight low and not a cloud in the sky expected. Sunday, partly cloudy. The winds are going to start picking up for us. That's why you want to go out on Saturday because Sunday, 20 mile per hour gusts with a high of 76 and a low of 39. Now, Monday, partly cloudy skies yet again, getting just a little bit windier. 21 mile per hour gusts expected with a high of 72 and a low of 41. Tuesday is going to get cloudy for us. In fact, it's going to be cloudy most of the next week. Winds up to 30 miles per hour on Tuesday with a high of 73, a low of 44. Wednesday still very cloudy. Gusts, highest gusts of the week expected, 33 mile per hour winds with a high of 75 and a low of 39. Thursday still cloudy, not going anywhere just yet. Gusts up to 31 miles per hour with a high of 73 and a low of 40. And finishing off our seven day forecast is Friday looking pretty good. 29 mile per hour gusts, but a high of 78 degrees and a low of 40. <clears throat> Congratulations goes out to Nate Davis, the winner of a free ticket to the Helping Hands for Jesus concert. This trivia contest was sponsored by a Cup of Faith Christian book and gift store. Nate, be sure to head over to the Cup of Faith to pick up your free ticket. And if you're not a friend of our Facebook page, you may want to be because we're going to be giving away one more of these tickets and the next trivia question will be posted on our Facebook page very soon. The Salvation Army is trying to help the victims of the tragic earthquake in Japan and they'd like your help. Text JAPAN to 80888 to give $10 to the Salvation Army's Japan relief work. This is a one-time donation of $10 to your mobile phone bill. Please respond yes to the thank you message you receive. And if you've missed any part of this newscast, you can watch it all again on our website at kpvm.tv. And with that said, that's going to do it for this edition of News 46. I'm Rick Vale. And I'm Kelsey Roberts. From everyone up here on the Hill at KPVM, we wish you a safe weekend. And we'll see you here again on Monday night. Until then, good night, Pahrump.